Good morning, all my beautiful people. I'm just doing a little bit of meal prep for the week. I have mushrooms, onions, some cilantro, Montreal steak spice, and about a tablespoon of olive oil. You can make flatbread pizzas with this or scrambled eggs and have this on the top, stuff like that. And I just made an egg salad. Well, actually, it's my second one because the first one I boiled the eggs dry. Not pretty. But that's because I was just getting out, making coffee, and went outside and gapped. But I'm here. I'm back. <laughs> we get up today. I think I'm going to take a spin and uh, go look at some paint colors for this cabinet. Quarter watermelon that I'm going to cut up. Not the best looking watermelon, but it tastes really good. Um, I make a salad sometimes with blueberries, watermelon, a little bit of red onion, and some feta cheese and salt and pepper. So good. You can use a white balsamic vinegar over it. It's very lovely. With a piece of chicken or a piece of fish, it's very nice. Well, I'm going to be eating a lot of watermelon, that's for sure. Wow. But it's all good. Good, healthy snack. That's what I'm going to be having. A little bit of meal prep for this week. Nothing too fancy. I might do up a couple pieces of salmon or something. But I'm done for now. All right, let's go out and get busy, guys. Let's follow along. I just had to show you how many beautiful morning glories I have on my plant here. I have a few on this one too, just a couple. And then sh she's in her floor. She's a major glory, this one. Isn't it beautiful? It's gonna come to an end soon and they're starting to turn a little yellow underneath, but. Oh, I even have Mr. B out here at seven o'clock in the morning. But I just thought this was a pretty show this morning. It rained, so they're a little bit droopy. I don't have to water. Oh, there's even one shining over here. They're a little bit everywhere. I love them. Pretty princess. I've just been out here playing for a little bit in the garden, cleaning up and watering, but everything looks good. I'm gonna get ready and go out and We'll probably go thrifting. So come hang out with me. Everything still looks great down here. It's really nice out today, like beautiful. I just did a donation and it's National Thrift Day. Since 2004, they do a National Thrift Day. This year it's today. And I just did a donation because you're supposed to do a donation and then go shopping. And the guy said, oh, it has to be in a box or a bag. I thought this was all about recycling, reduce, reuse, repurpose. And the only thing I passed him was four pair of pants, three tops, and a purse. Yeah. So you guys should be a little careful with that one. Anyways, I'm going in because it's National Thrift Day. And they're not, um, definitely not standing up for what they believe in. Hello. This is supposed to be all about repurposing, right? And now you're telling me to have to have it in a plastic bag. We'll look at this little cutie. She'd look cute in a garden, wouldn't she? She's cute. I don't like her nose, but it would be cute in the garden. Somewhere like a fairy garden or something. Oh, anyways, that just turned me off. And it's not very busy for National Thrift Day, which is a good thing. I'm just setting it there in case. Setting it there in case uh, I like it. Lori said she's going to meet me over here. So I think she's on the subway now. This is over at my end of town, not hers. Isn't this cute? It's very cute. It'd be cute with the sugar bowl, wouldn't it? Very nice. Maybe they have one somewhere. I'm going to take a really quick spin. It's not extremely busy for being National Thrift Day, which is a good thing, but it's early. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, someone spray painted it. That's beautiful, though. It was a part of a lamp. $13. Everything's $13 today. I have a coupon though. So, but I do like it. Let's see if the, what they have here. I saw this here the other day. If you were to paint him out and add like this to it, it could look quite cute if you did it black or something. Food for thought. Let's see what the cost is on it. Not that I need it. You know, I don't need anything, guys. This could be really nice outside. It's heavy. Someone had like a, one of those, you know, for the porch, a pergola or something. Wouldn't that be pretty? Really nice. 
Where it is. That's a really good looking little pig, isn't it? He's just so cute. Piggy bank, but it's very cute. Oh, that's a pretty song. It's a nice figurine of a Siamese cat. Very nice. Me and my swans, I keep finding them. And then we have a toothbrush and toothpaste with no price on it, but that's good for traveling. My favorite things. Look at the little bunny. So cute. On the mushroom. So sweet. That'd be cute in a plant. When it's a light and it works. <laughs> Does it ever? Mmm. It's cute. Turn that off so that it doesn't waste the charge. Cute though. What is this? Hmm. I don't know what that's for. And it's free too. All this free stuff today. A lot of things don't have prices today. This is for Halloween. Wouldn't it? Very cute. I definitely don't need it, but if you want it to decorate for fall and Halloween and stuff, it's very sweet. Really nice, another nice owl. I think I have one similar to this in my stash. But that's cute for fall decor. It's five ninety nine. Kind of cute little froggy. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? It's thirty dollars though, but it is pretty. They still have this big blackboard. I was just here uh, a couple days ago, so some of the stuff's still here. Hmm. That frog's still there, too. It's not my style, though. The peacock could be cool in the right spot in the garden. No, it's cheap looking. A couple pineapple hooks. $4.99 each. A little pricey. This is great if you have a farmhouse. American farmyard. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's definitely a nice picture. The frame, not so much, and the glass is kind of broken. But if you could just get the print and put it in a really nice, chunky frame and paint it black or something, it would look great. Or green. Or... Yeah. Nothing else jumping out at me here in the art section. I'm looking for a little frame, an ornate one. Oh, I can probably look on the side bin there too. Hold on, down here. Sometimes they have the smaller ones here. Something like that, yeah, that could work. I don't mind that one, it's only $2.99. Mine is 20%, so that's maybe. Um, I'd like a little rounder oval one though. It's for my collection I'm doing of hands. I'm gonna start doing my friends and that too and putting them up. I like that idea. This could be nice painted out. It's hard to find round frames, really it is. That one's not bad either. Not what I want though. A little oval or a little round would be cute. Yeah. I'm going to take a peek through here. Nice hooks if you needed hooks. There's four of them for $6. Someone made a little shelf or something. 
What are these? Oh, little letters for miniature stuff. Hello, hello. Mm. I like these, I always have, and I got two of them right now that I got no place for, so I'm not buying another one. This one's from Winners, but a good price, $2.99. Why do I always look at these? I don't know. <sighs> That's kind of neat, I like that. I do like that, $3.99. That could look great somewhere, couldn't it? Oh, that's a maybe. I have to think where I'd purpose it, but I like it. Could look good, maybe in the bathroom or something if I painted it out. I don't know. Cute little house, it opens up. Aw, how sweet is that? Five dollars. I don't know what that is. Little shelf. Another little house. They're cute though. Very cute. I gotta quit using that word. Just say pretty princess is better. It's very pretty princess. Oh, these are kind of neat. Like for decor. Or risers even. It could be cool, right? Decor or risers. Like if you put that and put something on it. I don't know. Hmm. Even if you put them on a big table, if you had a big wooden table like a harvest, a big wooden harvest table could look really good. This is a really cute herb planter. Not big enough though, as far as I'm concerned. It says $5 on it and they want seven. So it didn't sell at the garage sale. The problem with that, it's too small. Look at the little muffins on here and two little froggies it's nice i have my fall decor i'm not doing much this year guys just gonna do the front patio and that is it nothing else it's a nice can, uh, pitcher or watering can i should say yeah miss Lori has joined me she's talking to some girls anyways this is kind of cool with all the hearts on it like a family tree oh it's got someone's name on it too never mind that's a very pretty cream and sugar right out of italy you can tell isn't that nice it's beautiful two for 8.99 very nice. Oh no, that's two. And then no, that's overpriced for real. Yeah. So it'd be like fifteen dollars for both. That's not, that's crazy. Crazy. But it's cute. What do we have here? Some little hummingbird plates. No, it is National uh, Thrift Day. It is? Yeah. Since 2004. This is national yeah. you're supposed to thrift today. Here's a blue bowl, Lori. I don't know if you want a blue bowl. Maybe not. I don't want all this chick stuff. Okay. No, you know what I mean? Like, Brooke, it's like too much. Well, I like junk, so. You got a lot of junk, though. You're right. Okay. Nothing over here that I want. So I just got stuff in my cart here. Don't know if I'm buying any of it. I just gave Lori a blue vase if she gets it. And I put back the, I don't know what it was now. Oh, I put back the angel. It's $13, I'm not paying that for it. That's crazy. Crazy. I'm still looking for a tin, eight by eight maybe, or nine by nine even. That's really square. So sort of something like this, but even more square. And I definitely not that one rusty but i'm looking for that for to make like brownies and blondies and stuff in it and nanaimo bars that kind of thing haven't found one though been looking for about a month now or maybe more i'm flying to omg it's just like rapidly going 
don't think I need any more jars or containers. If you're into mid-century, this would be great. It's only two pieces, but it's missing the flower one, but it could be nice. Look at these two pretty lamps with the crystals. Some crystals missing, but very nice. Could be beautiful marble bottoms. Yeah. I lost Lori already. It's one thing good about thrifting with her. She goes off and does her own thing. And I do mine. Oh, look at the little poodle lamp. Is it a lamp? I don't know what it is. Well, maybe not. Oh, it's a bottle or something. Yeah. These could be cool in the right setting. These would be nice painted out. Really nice painted out. I always check out the lamp department. Look, this one could be beautiful too. Actually, that could be really nice. If you were to sand that down and strip it, it'd be beautiful. It's wood. Very nice old dresser. If you strip that back, it'd be beautiful. I love the hardware on it. Plant stands nice too with the marble top. A little apothecary um, with a metal top. That's nice. If you like that look, right? Could be really nice. And that one's 30. This is 40. Stacking tables are all right. They're not great. And they're 40. Very cute stool for a kid's room. $12 though. Should be like five, four. Not even five. I have a little French press for one. This is nice for two and it looks like it was never even used. Brand new. I'm gonna open it up and see if the filters are all good and stuff. I'll set it there for now. a small one. I have a small one though. Rose actually bought it for me when I was in the Dominican. She brought it down for me. I, I just still use it. It's just perfect for one and a half cups of coffee sort of thing. So gives you your fix and then a little bit to run on. I don't have room for this but I really like the look of it. I love the handle. It looks like a stove handle. And then the chicken wire, it's quite lovely. It really is. A whole bolt of this trim here, that if you were doing up a, a, a little girl's room or something or twin rooms, you'd have enough to make a bed skirt out of. Not that I need it, but it's cute. And it's vintage, which is even better. There's a little girl that's just new here. I'm telling, she's putting things in the wrong spot and I'm telling her what aisles they're in. It's pretty sad when I know where everything goes, right? And I don't even work here. That goes to show you how much I'm in here. Do you remember this pattern, Nanny? Yeah, you had that all in your bedroom. Well, National Thrift Day has to be something to do with clothing. So I found this. It's brand new, still has the tags on it. I'm kind of liking it. I might get that. You know, this little purse here was cute in its day. Still kind of cute. I like it. It's a little faded. If it wasn't, I would have looked at it. The side's got some fading on it. It's definitely something cute about it, though. Not that I even wear that color. Just taking a peek, because I'm here. Okay, I'm going to get the jacket. As much as I like this, I have no spot for it. But I really like it. And the glasses I'm not going to get. I'm going to get the frame, though, for sure. Definitely get that. And I'm on the fence with the French press because I probably don't need it. So maybe I shouldn't get it. It's $7 minus 20%. Mm. Okay. Whoops. This is really cute. I like this. Is it cast iron? Oh, it's plastic, but it looks like cast iron. It's cute. Well, I'm going to get out of here because it's time to go. And yeah, it's a heart vase. Isn't that sweet? And this is some milk glass. Oh, she's beautiful. Well, there you go. Oh, 
Oh. He's getting the lamp. I'm getting the lamp. And just found I just this. found this face. Wow. And the bunny I found when I came in, I found this the other day too, but things missing, but I thought if you painted it out and did that and stuck something in it, could be cute. And one one uh, big sheet, queen size. And for my neighbor. I came for her neighbor yeah. and a curling yarn. There yeah. you go. That's her shopping spree. Really cute pewter. It's not silver. I think it's pewter. I don't know what it is. It's very nice though. little teapot. Isn't that cute? I think it looks more like pewter. Looked it up on Etsy. It's, they have one for $95. It is pewter. I was right. It's very cute. Very, very cute. I am going to close this for now. Once I go somewhere else today since it's National Day. But I've been in here a long time and I'm ready to leave. I'm going to put this back because I got no use for it as much as I like it. And it's not old anyways. Just found this is kind of cute. Oh, it's stacking. I'm here. Okay, we're gonna go into this thrift store, Salvation Army, on the same street, Bluer Street. We're gonna check this out since it's National Thrift Day. And nobody's thrifting. And nobody's thrifting. It's lovely. We're gonna take a boo through here. And we're just looking at all the little items right now. There's a whole other side to it though. We'll head back there and see what they have. Well, at least it's all organized. The owls are very nice, very mid-century modern. Mm-hmm, very nice. I like, I like, I like. Look at the monkey. The monkey dish. The monkey. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Those are very mid-century modern. Is this Bakelite? No. Is that a bangle? No, I thought it was Bakelite. Really expensive. Nice. A little apples. Chopped in applesauce. This is $9.99. Okay, now we're into the black and the glass. Hmm. That's beautiful. Let me go look at that. Well, the only thing I found was this cast iron little press, which I'm going to get and clean it up. $2.99. Lori's going to get one, too. I'm going to go in here and get a, a scent for my car. They have the ones. I have the, the container. I just need the refill. Lori's getting a phone thing, whatever you call it, a protector. I need to buy a phone, period, for a blazer. But we're not in a very good mall, either. We're just checking it out. See what they have. Okay, for National Thrift Day, I bought a little frame, a pair of little black dress pants, uh, skinny ones, a jacket. Um, it looks really good on, actually. Little chartreuse color, kind of goldy though, and it's I really like it. it. Was a nice cuff sleeve. And I bought a black turtleneck. Love. It's got embroidery, little buttons, and that was $7. But I really like it. And I just Googled it, and it's $189 for this turtleneck from Italy. So I did good. Got this press for $2.99 um, with the grill marks. I'm just going to soak it in some baking soda. I put baking soda, salt, and I'm going to add a little bit of dish soap to this and boiling hot water and let it sit. And then I'll scrub it. Just let it sit there for an hour or two. And then I'll come back in and scrub it all. I'm going to make it brand new. I'm going to make myself... Um, like some mushrooms, fresh tomatoes from my garden, some a little bit of feta and a couple eggs in a pan. Just something different. Let's see what I come up with. I'm gonna crop, um, I'm gonna crop a couple eggs onto this. A little bit of salt and pepper, some chili flakes and put a lid on it. Okay, I just cracked two eggs in there, put a lid on this and I'll poach it for a little bit. Ah! 
Ah, something different. I'm not starving and I don't want to eat a bunch of bread and bacon and stuff. I'm trying to eat a little more healthy. Okay, it looks about done. I'm going to put it onto a plate and then put some arugula and maybe some chili oil over it or something. Looks good. It'll fill the gap. Arugula to this. Then I'm going to drizzle some chili oil over it. Decided on some balsamic instead. That's it. That's all. I'm pulling out all my winter coats. I'm going to see which ones I want to keep, which ones I'm going to get dry cleaned. And that's about it. So I'm going to close this video and get this organized. I only have maybe, I have too many. I'm not even going to say I don't have enough. I have too many. I have a couple really nice fall coats that I absolutely love. And then I have some winter coats, but I think a couple need to be dry cleaned and stuff. So I know the cost to dry cleaning a coat now is like 30, 40 bucks, maybe 50 if it's long. It's a lot. So I'm going to be real selective from which ones I'm keeping. I will see you all in the next video. Loves everybody. Thank you all the time. And if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Yeah, I think that's it, everybody. Take care. Pretty princess. Sexy times.